Good evening, Highland. I'm going to be doing kind of a summary of the city council meetings, and the reason why is because I know most of you don't want to sit through a council meeting and listen to all that. So I'm going to try to pull what at least I feel the important points are out and bring them to your attention along with relay any important information to you. If you do want to hear the entire council meeting in full, you can go over to the website at highland.thewatchmannews.com and in the calendar, I already have uploaded the audio from tonight and of course you can see the agenda and the packet there as well and as soon as the minutes are posted, I will put that up there as well. So I'll leave a link above in the, uh, in the description area of, um, of this video. That way you'll have a link directly to the page that you're looking at. So, real quick, I want to cover one thing real, real super fast. We do have storms moving through the area tonight. We've been lucky, and most of them have missed us. However, I believe our luck is going to run out. There's a storm cell that's moving through the Lebanon, Missouri area right now, and I don't think we're going to luck out on that. I do think that one's going to get us, uh, although, thankfully, it has been reduced from tornado warning to severe thunderstorm warning. We can just hope that it continues to, uh, to lighten up a little bit as it comes through our area. So, okay, I want to cover just a couple of, of things real quick. First off, I want to cover the issue. There were individuals that were concerned about being able to get their trash cans uh, where they needed to go because they, they may have mobility issues or some other issues that would uh, hinder them in being able to do so. Some individuals have, have called the trash company and had no luck with finding a solution. So what was said tonight at the meeting is if you are an individual in that situation where you need a little bit of help to get your can out where it needs to go, uh, you are actually supposed to call Kelsey, Megan, or Lisa at 654-9891, 654-9891. Again, Kelsey, Megan, or Lisa, and they can get you in touch with the right person at Republic in order to help you with your particular situation. So I wanted to get that out there. That was uh, definitely a concern. And now I want to move on to this other topic that was discussed uh, pretty much in length tonight, and that is something going on uh, with the power, the IMEA, I believe is what they called it. And so I don't have a lot of details on this as of yet. I uh, plan to dig into it. Uh, if anybody would like to speak to me about it, I would be much appreciative of that, as well as I want to bring something up. The same point had been kind of hammered down on uh, during the public part of this, this council meeting, and that was a, a big concern about coal power and stuff like that. And it was brought up about people that had breathing issues and stuff like that. Now, I'm not, I'm not standing up for anybody here. I'm not standing up for big power. I'm not standing up for corporations. I'm not standing up for even coal power, okay? What I am saying is there were concerns about people that currently have breathing issues and that, you know, living down here, they were having more issues than when they lived up near Chicago. I just want to point out one thing about that. Those breathing issues are not likely coming from the power plants producing the power. Those breathing issues are more likely coming from the refineries that are setting around the Wood River area. That's where you're probably going to be seeing your particulates and stuff like that. Not necessarily from the power generation. And again, I'm not sticking up or standing up for any of that. Uh, but I do have one thing to say about this whole climate change thing. I am one of few people that caught on to something over a decade ago. And it was, in fact, quote-unquote, climate change, but not the same climate change that you've been hearing from public officials and, and all of that. Uh, there is certainly something going on with our climate, but it's not because of rising CO2 levels or anything like that. 
this is actually one of the many passions that I have and something that I've been speaking about over a decade. And the best thing that I can do, because my knowledge on it is, is somewhat limited and I can't go into great detail like somebody else can, and I'm going to leave the links to a video that he had produced. Now, who am I talking about? I'm talking about somebody that on YouTube goes by Suspicious Observers. His name is Ben Davidson. He is incredibly smart, and he's been taking all kinds of different agencies to task, including NASA and NOAA. I mean, it's, it's amazing the work that this man has done. And what I'm going to do, Suspicious Observers is his channel. I will note that the O in Observers is actually a zero. It's not an O, it's a zero. Um, but I will link this particular video down below. It's titled, Earth Disaster is Coming, All the Evidence. Now, if you take the less, just under 17 minutes to watch this video, you will have a much bigger understanding of what is actually going on. And it's important. This isn't anything minor. And newsflash, we didn't cause it and we can't stop it. And I know that's not going to make me a very popular person. But uh, <laughs> I, I have to tell the truth behind it. Um, I urge you to watch the video. I will link the video as well up above in the description area. And, um, you know, again, I, I know that that doesn't help anybody, but neither does eliminating uh, the only way that we have to get reliable energy at this time, unfortunately. I don't like it either. I don't like it any better than anybody else, and I, I, I surely don't want more nuclear power plants either. So, is there any good answers? Unfortunately, at this particular moment in time, no. Why is there no big or good answers? <sighs> That's going to get us into another big rabbit hole that I don't really feel like getting into. But it does have to do with big oil, big corporations, and all of that suppressing technology. So I'll leave that at that. So anyway, I'm I'm my intent is to keep these these. Uh, little bitty excerpts if you will short and so I'm going to do my best to do so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off that'll keep it right at about eight minutes and if anybody wants to speak to me a little bit more about this energy deal that's going on I surely would appreciate it so with that I hope you have a good evening and we will see you soon Shalom